Let's take a look at how you can add subscriptions into Reminder Fox. We'll go to the mighty Pittsburgh Steelers Yahoo team page and ignore their 6 and 7 record. If you go to the Schedule uh, tab, there's an Add to Calendar link. If we go to iCal, right click on it, there's a Subscribe with Reminder Fox link. This brings up an option to add a custom list. So we'll enter Pittsburgh Steelers, and you see the subscription URL is already filled in for us. We get a dialog box confirming that. We bring up the reminder list. Now we see that there's a Pittsburgh Steelers tab, and all of the calendar entries have been filled in for us. So if we hover over them, we see the information that the remote calendar already has um, entered in for us. So it's kind of nice we'll go to today just so we can see what upcoming games there are. You see there's a Green Bay game coming up that will be on Fox. A week later there will be one on uh, CBS. So that's kind of nice if, if you're following a sports team or something like that. So you can do a, a search. There's a bunch of different calendars. Here's one for U.S. holidays on a site called iCalShare. We'll change the name to Holidays. Click OK. And then we'll jump over to Reminder Fox. And we see that a whole bunch of holidays are now entered. And these are just remote calendars. They're not actually on our um, hard drive, which is why when you click on them, you see that everything's read-only. You can't edit these. These are a remote calendar that someone else um, is supplying to you. And again, you can hover over and get any details. Now if we go to the options, we can actually configure our list. Um, you can edit the name, change the subscription URL, or uh, move it up and down. So here, let's, let's remove the holidays. Let's say we actually want those holidays to be, be entered into our main calendar. So instead of um, subscribing, we're actually going to download that ICS file from that same web page. Now let's go back to our options, and under the File tab, let's choose to import those reminders. And we'll say Add, and we'll select the holidays. And you see it says 29 events were imported. So now when we go to our reminders list, we see that among our normal reminders, now we have all of the holidays as well. So that's another way that you can enter in um, events that you're interested in. So they're just in along with our uh, normal reminders that we had entered previously. And you see now when we edit them, it's no longer read-only.